Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today, today it's Motion Graphics Mondays and today I'm going to be talking about a few tips and tricks to make your motion graphics or titles stand out a little bit more in Adobe Premiere Pro on top of video. So having titles on top of video is very popular in vlogs and whatever if you want to show what the video is about or just have a simple title on top of your videos, extremely popular but a lot of the times the title is very unreadable or just doesn't fit the scene and in this video I will give you a few tips and tricks to make your title stand out a little bit more on top of your video footage to make a more complete scene. But before we start this video I would like to have some feedback from you guys. I have been working on a new intro for this channel and I will also be making a template of this intro for uh, for you guys so you can get it on our website. But I'm kind of in the middle of something so I have this intro uh, but I have two different songs and I would like to have an opinion of you guys so I will play back these two intros just behind each other and just listen to the audio if you like the music let me know if you like the first one or the second one drop a comment below it will really really mean a lot to me uh, and I would really appreciate it a lot because I'm kind of in the middle there I love both songs but both have a completely different mood and um, so yeah maybe you guys can help me out here Alright, so let's open up Adobe Premiere Pro and see 5 tips on improving your title game. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and the first thing that I will do is import my title on top of my video. As you can see, I already prepared a video in here and you can also see that this video is very wide, which is actually a perfect example for uh, this kind of video here. Because white, if we're going to apply a white title here, I will just import very quickly an essential graphic um, the Balin intro, which is a very popular one of our website. Uh, as you can see right here, this is the animation. Really cool. All right, so let's change the text a little bit. Uh, right here. Presents. Okay, so here we have a video. If you actually want this template, you can go ahead with the link in the description and get this essential graphic for Premiere Pro. So uh, maybe change the color and see the possibilities here, but this has actually nothing to do with this video. Um, so let's change it in a nice red color like this. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, the title is pretty readable, but it can actually go and be better. Uh, let's say that our video would be even um, more exposed than now. Uh, let's go to our window, workspaces, and go to the color workspace. So usually if you're working with white color, it can really get very difficult to read your text if you're uh, looking up in the sky or whatever. So it's really important for your video to have a nice contrasted background. Some cases you can go for like a sky video or something very solid, something uh, with a constant color and it will really bring out your titles. Uh, for example, if you are shooting your title against a blue sky, uh, that's really going to pop your title. It's going to be easy to read. And then for example, you pan down to your scene and do your video. That's a really creative way of doing it in camera. But let's say you don't have that luxury and you already have your footage and you want to apply your text on top of your footage, but later in editing, you see that it doesn't really work out. So what you can do is just bring down the exposure of that video until the title is gone. Let's say we want to fade the title out here. So let's delete this last part and add a simple um, dissolve here. So our title fades and then we want our new um, exposure to, to actually return to its original state. So we'll go and open up the Lumetri color in the effects controls right here and open that up and go and create a uh, stopwatch keyframe for the exposure right at the beginning of our title fade out and then uh, go all the way until it's gone and then just re um, increase the exposure to zero. And then we have this nice transition where our title is very readable and then our video becomes as bright as it should be and it continues playing. So right here we have a perfect example. Uh, it's a very big difference if we're going to reset this to zero. It's a lot more readable. It's going to bring your uh, shot a lot more out and it's going to make it pop a little bit. You can also go ahead and add a nice vignette in here and maybe bring in the endpoints and the feather 
and just don't exaggerate it and also animate these in here with these keyframes and that's also going to help a lot. So let's say right here we want to set it to zero and right here we want it to start animating. So we'll move these keyframes next to each other right here. Uh, maybe we should bring the effects controls right here so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. So we have these two keyframes and now we have a nice transition for our video. So very readable. You can also animate them in if you want to. Go to your video and animate in the exposure so people actually know that the original exposure is actually a little brighter than right here. So let's go to the beginning, set the exposure to zero, move a few frames and then just drop the exposure like this. Uh, so we have an animation in of the title, very readable, and then it animates out and we have our title gone. So this is the first example, very simple, very basic, but it's just a simple trick to bring out your title. You can also go ahead and add a simple drop shadow on your title. So click on your title layer, go to the effects and search for drop shadow. A simple effect, you apply it to your video layer and there you go, you will have uh, your opacity 100%. Let's zoom in 100% so you can actually go ahead and see it. We can already see uh, the shadow, maybe increase the distance. So right here we actually see a shadow layer and that will also help to um, kind of pop the title. So maybe a softness of 10 and a opacity of 50. Never go 100% in opacity unless it's kind of a style choice, but the higher your shadow is going to be, the more amateuristic your video is actually going to look. Keeping everything subtle uh, just so the people can read it easily, but don't really notice the shadow that's the way you want to go. It really depends on the title you're choosing, uh, but even 50% might already be a little bit too much. But if we toggle on and off the shadow, it really already helps uh, to read it a little bit better. Okay, so next you can also go and play with with overlay colors. So maybe you want to overlay this. Uh, you don't need to uh, do the exposure in this case. So let's just delete the Lumetri color for now and bring it to fit on uh, the comp area right here. We'll open up our project manager right here and then we'll create a new item by clicking on this icon and create a color mat. This color mat, just click OK. Make sure it's actually the same dimension as your video and click OK. Now we can, for example, go for a nice blue color. So maybe we want to bring a uh, color that we want to use in that video or maybe go for yellow or whatever. Uh, maybe a nice yellow could also work. And then we'll make it bright enough, a little bit more towards the orange and click OK and OK. And then bring that color mat below your title. Now, of course, you see uh, your color layer like this and this doesn't look good at all. What you can do is change the blending mode to color. And that way you will see your tile very nice and easy. So uh, you can also go ahead and double click on the color mat and maybe change the color a little bit more. Maybe this is a little bit too much and so play around with it. Um, maybe like this it works a little bit better or maybe we can try blue. So go for a nice blue and really play with nice colors. It really makes or breaks your scene. And you can also go ahead and fade this in. So go to your uh, effects and then transitions, video transitions. We want to apply a simple cross dissolve at the beginning and then at the end of our uh, color mat right here. Okay, now we just want to trim it right here and line it up with the title. And now we have a nice color overlay and then it goes away and we have our video. So this could also work. Maybe let's try red and see what the difference is there. So you could also really kind of create a vibe of your video. Blue is going to be very uh, cold, wintry. Then you have orange, which is, which is going to be very uh, summer kind of vibey. And then we have red, which is going to be very powerful. It really depends on the video you're trying to make, but it can also work very fine. You can also go and play with the opacity uh, mask tool here. And maybe you want to create a four point polygon mask and click on that and maybe just make a simple mask. So we'll set the feather to zero and then maybe uh, click on these points and then bring them all the way to the left and then these points all the way to the right. And that way we have a nice line in the center which will make sure that your uh, title is very readable um, and have a nice style to it. So this could also be a very fun way to play with. And also with the mask expansion right here, you can uh, expand it and play around with that, animate it if you want. Maybe you can start from the center like this and create a keyframe, bring this to the beginning of your video and then just expand it until we can read our title and bring it in like this. And then if we're going to play it back, we have something like this, which is also very, very cool and very original actually, because you don't really see it often. So. Um, you can also fade it in with like a shape that is um, coming into your scene and giving your title and so on. Next, we can also use a blurry background and you could do this in camera with something out of focus, 
show your title and then come into focus and while it's coming into focus you actually pull away your uh, title so this is a very interesting way because it's going to and uh, draw the attention towards a sharp part of your video which is in this case the title and the background will be very blurry and it will make it instantly a lot easier to read so uh, in this example it might not be the, ex uh, the best example but let's try it anyway we'll go to effects right here and go to the video effects and go to blur and sharpen and apply a simple Gaussian blur to our layer or actually we're going to play around with camera blur. I actually like camera blur a lot more than the Gaussian blur because it looks a lot more realistic but it's a lot slower so um, it depends on uh, your system but I really prefer working with the camera lens blur. Okay so right here instantly you can see that it makes your title so much more readable but it's it didn't differ in any kind of value of exposure or brightness um, or color so that could also really work in your uh, situation so maybe you want to go when the title is in here and create a new keyframe go to the beginning and set it to zero and then right here at the end again create a new keyframe and go at the end and set it back to zero so took it in a little bit like this okay so let's preview this and as you can see really really cool on this video it's not the perfect example but because without the blur you will actually already see the difference uh, so if we're going to uncheck the camera blur you can already read the title pretty uh, nicely but let's say we're going to use something else like this image that I will be using that I took in Spain um, as you can see this title uh, well actually this image is very detailed we see a lot of colors a lot of contrast a lot of different kind of things and if you see this title instantly you're going to um, notice that you won't be able to read this title in just a few seconds it's very hard on the eyes it's not entertaining at all so uh, if we would be using this blur on this layer for example so we'll go to the first layer and just copy our settings so camera lens blur um, control C and then right here we'll paste it uh, we'll see that right now immediately immediately you're going to be able to read your title very uh, quickly so let's just do a quick preview So the blur comes in and then when the title is gone the blur goes out so that's a very fun thing to uh, use in your videos and this is actually one of my personal favorites just working with the blur maybe the blur is a little bit too much you don't need to go this high maybe 10 could maybe 10 already works and there we go so this is tip number four, working with blur. And then lastly, um, actually we already kind of covered it in the, color, uh, in the color tip, but what we can use is work with shape layers. So we have our title right here. Let's say we don't have any camera lens blur. We could just simply create a new shape. So let's put uh, the ball and intro on a top layer and just delete everything that we have right here except this video. And we have our title right here and we have our pen tool let's choose our rectangle tool and just create a simple rectangle right here so make this a little bit bigger so you can see our viewport and create a shape just like this make it black or maybe a darker color and click ok and just put this below our title and now you have a nice shape layer of course it should be sized correctly and make sure everything is center centered nice so we can do this uh, in window essential graphic right here and actually center it out by going to the edit tab so I'm going to put my essential graphics right here edit align and transform now it's perfectly in the center and we can also animate this in for example we can scale our um, graphic up so go to effects controls right here and scale to zero create a keyframe go right over here 100 and then right here maybe we want to make it a little bit smaller like our title and then at the end we want to change it back to zero so now we have something like this and our title is perfectly visible so of course you can play with the bezier option right here so this is where you actually select a few of your keyframes right click on them and go for a bezier right here and that will actually soften the animations a little bit so it's going to come in slower and it's going to slowly go away you can also open this with the arrow right here and play around with the graph editor so this is something that after effects users are going to be very familiar with uh, if you do some kind of animation uh, might be very hard for beginners 
um, but it's actually really simple to adjust and it's also a very fun way to play around with everything. So right here we have a soft uh, kind of transition in and then we have this movement and actually right here we want it to be linear uh, and then we want to fade it out. I'll actually select only this last one and then just fade it out like this here. And there we go, so let's do a preview. It comes in very slowly, as you can see, and then slowly goes away and vanishes. So, pretty cool, this kind of sums it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more, and definitely check out our website. As you can see, we have a bunch of things to offer, like Essential Graphics for Premiere Pro, and it really helps to support the channel if you do buy something. So, thank you for watching, hope to see you in the next one, and goodbye.